it's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect 3. Last episode was incredible and today we are going to go see Kaiden, I think, in the mem the what is it called? Memorial Hospital? I, I don't remember the whole name, but uh, yeah, in the hospital, in the citadel. But yeah, last episode we basically reunited, of course, with our shepherd and the reapers have invaded the earth and we have gotten some data of a protein relic or plan for weapon against reapers so that's where we're at right now we need to go to the council and try to ask for their help i don't think that they're gonna help us because they have never helped us in the past but uh, I mean we can always hope and uh, yeah we're gonna go see Caden so that's basically the, the plan for today so far so yeah let's jump into it let's go all right here we are at the citadel and we are going to go see Caden he is at but we can go to lab services first. We also recruited Chakwas already. Oh, no weapons here. We have Chakwas and... They also called the invaders Reapers. The same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to yep. refer to a theoretical enemy. Well, fuck you too. Oh my lord, I'm sorry. I'm already um, worked up. Whoa. Uh, we we recruited Dr. Chakwas, we saw Dr. Michelle, we also, of course, recruited Liara, so yeah, this is very... Uh, is stable for now. That was touch and go. That sounded like Morden, uh, but it's not Morden. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. They're probably talking about, uh, about Kaiden, right? I'm just going everywhere. This looks amazing. Looks really good. Okay. According to the council, these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized campaign. All staff lines and street terrorist patients, please remain all right. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Damn. Goodness. <gasps> there we go. Nice hospital rooms, like with a big window like that. But not very practical. For the number of patients. You can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Get better, we need you. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Yeah. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. Get away, doctor. I could use or you. Or nurse. You need anything, doc, let me know. A doc. That's an order. No. The music is really uh It's getting uh, to you. It, it it really does. All right. So he's not exactly well, he's awake. I guess he was just sleeping. Um I'm a I'm a nurse, guys, by the way. So if you feel like I'm being annoying with a uh, being exact in the uh, 
medical stuff, then uh, yeah, that's why I'm a, I'm a registered nurse. And um, sometimes in games or movies, please select the destination. One moment, please. They they don't do things exactly like it's in real life, of course. So. Oh, I didn't talk to Avina in Hello, the Commander Shepard. in the other. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Okay. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Any other important areas I should know about? I didn't talk to her in the, the hospital. The is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. Are there Batarians? For medical needs, the Probably, Presidium right? offers leading edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Maybe they're not welcome, I don't know. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Upgrades. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. All right. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay. Miami forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Fighting is said to have reached Paladin. What? I'm trying to hear the uh, join the fight with Amil Hackett. Holy. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and. Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Really? He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter in law. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in terrain colonies. Fighting is said to have reached power. The atmosphere in this game already is so much he heavier for some reason, you know. It just, you you can already feel it, even in the intro, the beginning, like this. Yeah, it's so heavy. You can really feel... Please tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist... That shit's about to go down, you know what I mean? We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Oh, and I got a we are committed to an assignment for the that. Empire and the Human Alliance. Wait, that's cool. Oh, I didn't mean to save like this. Volus the plant needs a Protean obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him on the Citadel Embassy. Nice. Cool. Just by hearing him. Oh. These are real? <laughs> it's, it makes me sad to see Turians in blue like this because I just want to see Garrus. <laughs> I mean. White markings. Where is my blue marking Turian? sec I mean, why not? Let's let's go see. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Aljalani. Oh, the not her. Simply not granting interviews at this time. Oh, 
My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. She's so annoying. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? <laughs> I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Yeah. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Oh, she's so annoying. Bump her shoulder while she passes. Oh, Shepard is Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. <sighs> Damn press. Uh, See, so you're keeping the peace. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Doorman. Most people see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts, I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why do you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. Mm. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. It's a stupid game. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here <laughs> in my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Nope. I'm up to my neck in I'm trouble, sorry. but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. The war. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Wow. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Right. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, hmm. sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. You got loved ones out there? Yeah, he does. Somewhere. I remember. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... I don't know, he had a daughter. And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. Oh my lord. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Jesus. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Mm. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Huh. Yeah, enough to arrest him. When huh. Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. What? Udina rewarded me with the promotion. Okay. And near as I can that tell, that surprises me. Being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. So Palin is not in, on the council, obviously, anymore. So who's there as a Turian? It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Because Palin was a Turian, yeah, right? If it ever gets not better. mistaken. Plus two renegade. <laughs> okay. Incriminating like what? Earth's Counselor Office, oh, Udina. Three Spectre Office, yes, please. First and foremost, I want my guns. I want the HMWR or something, I don't remember. <laughs> Use. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covered operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at a terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial, financial transaction. Korean Fleet Intel. Korean Pilgrim Jen Volan Narnima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. 
Jan Volan purchased tech including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barriers emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another Aquarian pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. Is it... Is it Tally? The pilgrim was later... No, it's a pilgrim. She has finished her pilgrimage, so it's not Tally. Was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Okay, it's a dude. Data suggests that Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. Is it against the Geth? It's not for the Reapers, is it? This could be reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. No, it's against the Geth. Intel suggests Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with Geth. Yeah, no, exactly. It is for sure that. Oh my lord. No. Oh, fuck. What are we gonna do about this? I have no idea. I don't know. Enter shooting range. Sure. Okay. So you can try out stuff? I don't want to try this. I meant to do this. No, what? Katana, please. Okay. Good against armor. Shield. Maybe... Let's try this. Wait, what a minute. Wait, what? It didn't work at all? Overload? Wait a minute. Okay, I just can't do it at all. Here. It has a big recoil, eh? It really does. This one too. That's that's pretty good. I cannot use my overload here for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's very stable. I like the predator. <coughs> Oops. pretty good i really like uh the mantis okay so i think i'm gonna take oh wait we have vindicator or we have a Avan avenger let me see avenger that's a bit better i feel like in terms of a uh, recoil yeah avenger is definitely uh better than um than the Vindicator in in my uh, honest opinion like I know it's better on damage but why accuracy is supposed to be better are you kidding me really 
I don't... The recoil is, is like... It's crazy, though. Fire raid, yeah. I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Take off the assault rifle, I guess. I don't know. I, I, it's kind of hard to choose because my weight... I don't know if I can change... I can't undo upgrades once they're on because here I could have like changed for was it tech mastery? Like there was something that increased the weight, increased weight capacity bonus by 20 points like that could be enough for me to have pistol, assault rifle and um a uh sniper rifle. Buddy, eh, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Let's leave. So I can't buy anything. That's too bad, honestly. Why is there? Oh. Requisite. Oh. Actually, I can. Oh my lord have mercy. Black Widow! Wraith, Paladin, Typhoon, Piranha, Hurricane, Crusader, Valiant, Eagle, Defender. I really, I don't have enough credits, but um... But okay, Black Widow would be very um, interesting. And then maybe Paladin. I'm I'm not sure. Cerberus stuff. There isn't any locust. I almost missed it. All right, we'll be able to come back and buy stuff when we have more money. So Citadel is gonna be a hub world like like any other Mass Effect. So basically. Commander, We're gonna come back here Counselor a couple of times Udina said during the game. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Really? We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Hmm. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. Can you believe me now? You don't have a choice. And it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. A weapon. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component mm. here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe in trying. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We True. need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. No, that's the thing. They'll destroy every organic yeah. being in the galaxy if it's we true. don't find a way to stop them. Yeah. Every home world, every world, actually. They'll the start cruel with their home world. The unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. 
We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. Wow. I'm sorry, Commander. Using that us as bait, basically. Not bait, but like... Shepard, meet me in my office. But like, oh, at least there... I hope that's an offer of support. Jesus. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. It's like, oh, s s since they're... They're a bunch using of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Honored. We're protected in the meantime. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Of course. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need. But I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the war summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. The Reapers have Those hit meetings won't proceed Palavan? without him. For real? The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian. Wait, I, I didn't know that. Did they say that? We didn't know that. Oh my goodness. Is that why the soldier was sent? I missed the beginning of that conversation. We can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected with the Normandy. I don't see how that helps me. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. The Turian fleet. The Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. Wow, okay. So I don't think humanity is necessarily is second rate. Thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Oh, I thank goodness. And various resources will be made available to you. Nice. Good day. Well... That went well. <laughs> it's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think humanity is necessarily um, priority Palavan. Necessarily second rate. I think they would do that for basically any other species, you know. It's always your species first, I guess. Primarch Fedorian of the Turian Hierarchy has called the War Summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. The Crucible? Is that the, the, the weapon? I'm guessing. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in a Reaper attack on Palavan. Rescued the Turian Primarch from Palavan's moon. So maybe the soldier was sent to the moon. The council. You saved their lives. And for what? Saved their lives for what? Do, 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 Apologies do, do, do. that boil down to maybe I'm later. <laughs> uh. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know Fair what enough. I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Earth. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, oh along God. with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. Mm. They're frightened now. Use that. 
Inspiratus, I take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. Palin, I'm I'm so dumb. Palin was the uh, the C-Sec um, uh, dude, the C-Sec like chief. I executor Palin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm I'm piecing thing. I don't know why I mixed it with the council. It's totally different. So the head, the head of CSEC basically was Executor Palin, right? Even in Mass Effect 1. And he had so many whatever things incrimi incriminating him that it was enough to arrest him and then he resisted and so Bailey has had to kill him and then Udina was like, oh, good job, Bailey, you're promoted to commander. That's what happened. And it was Udina that found the incriminating stuff against him. I wonder what it was. That's weird. And Sparatus is the same dude. Because I was seeing it's the same dude as usual on the council. I was so confused, but I mix them up. I mix them up all the time. It was the same with um, Nesana or whatever her name was, the Asari. That was not on the council that we killed a sister of and then we killed her. Um, but it was the same for her. And the sorry on the council, I was always mixing them up, and that was it. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sparatus is the same. He's the same Turian on the council. But Palin was the head of C second. Now it's Bailey, obviously. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans and there's a need there. Yeah, I mean fair. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. He sounded just like Palpatine. <laughs> that was so fucking weird. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced Some to an buoys. IOU. Buoys. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. <laughs> Personal. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. Arcturus I must Station? Know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Mm. Damn. I should go. I'll be here. He said... It's it's strange times when Tyrians are the friendliest to humans, but also it's strange times that Udina is actually helping me and not being a jackass. That's also really fucking weird. Like times are dire. <laughs> times are. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> I mean, right? Like that doesn't feel good. Wait a minute. So now maybe I I have access to more things? Spectre status recognized, yeah. Okay, not not there, but maybe here. No? Okay. Alright. Maybe at the shooting range, but whatever. Okay. So that's it for here. We're going back. Ooh, red markings look cool. So cool. Can we say anything else to Bailey about this or? Commander Shepard, hope the Citadel's been treating you well. I'm still just trying to keep things in order. Feels like I'm fighting a losing battle. Did I have trouble? <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. 
Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. No, oh, okay. But millions across the Must have you doing somersaults. It's, it's the <laughs> yeah, same. Already it's the same. Okay. Allocated the bulk Sorry. of my men to custody. It'll probably get worse before it gets. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, elevator. Oh. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. You bent. Is it true that you were on Earth when Perfect the Reapers name for attacked? Her. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Oh, excuse Is me. Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth, for everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. That was weird. I'm not, I'm not super happy with that. We haven't always seen eye to eye. No, we never. But I'm glad you're on our side. Yeah, of course I am. Okay, so my my reason why I didn't do the renegade interrupt here, war asset updated. What is that? I don't know. War asset. What is that? War as Where do I see that like I don't know. I can't see anywhere. Mm. War asset updated and I got her. Okay, the reason why I didn't do the renegade here is because last game in Mass Effect 2, I had an interview with her and I didn't do the, the, the R2 um, renegade interrupt. And then I completely destroyed her in the best speech I've ever fucking heard from Shepard. I think only hold the line is better than that speech, but like, dude, it was awesome with a paragon choice, like a charm option. So I thought maybe it was the same thing here. Like I didn't want to punch her because you guys told me in the comments in the Mass Effect 2 playthrough that if you interrupt her, you punch her. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll let it go and we'll see. And then there was there was a Paragon interrupt. So I was like, oh, okay, let's try that. But then it was like, not exactly what I wanted to do. But I mean, we got her as war asset, I guess. I don't even know what that Welcome, is. Commander Shepard. I have so many please questions. The destination. One moment, please. Oh my God. Anyways, it's the second time now I see that war asset thingy. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I think we're good to go. I think that's it for the Citadel for now. Unless there's something else now. But I don't think so. I think we're going to Palavan. Well, I guess we're going to the moon around Palavan. Right? Return to the Normandy. Can I just go around the Normandy this time? Oh, maybe not. Am I dreaming? Where the fuck am I? I'm dreaming. Yeah. Kid from the beginning. Gonna get killed in front of my eyes by Reapers.
We literally have the weight of the world on our shoulders since the beginning of this series. But in this game, it's even worse. <laughs> I really feel for her, like, I I can't even imagine being in her position. Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. Mm. I know. Are you alright? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Maybe I'm back on Earth. When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. She's so Don't nice. Don't blame yourself, Commander. I love Liara. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Mm. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, hmm. since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, hmm. I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. No, oh, no, Joker. I requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Did he now? Thanks, ED. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive I mean, your voice was. You're not wrong. Anyway, shall <laughs> I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. <laughs> In okay. The CRC, you'll find the galaxy map. Nice. Where you can set the so Normandy's we do have the galaxy map. Also, you can also check your messages at your private terminal. Yeah. Do we have Kelly? The war room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. That's new. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Yeah. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old wow. XL office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. A shadow broker and room. There you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. I'm actually surprised that the elusive man hasn't tried to get his Normandy back because he built that shit. Like he built all of it, Commander, and I just stole it basically. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. I mean, I understand their concern. We did present I gotta them with be a lot honest. of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Yeah. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. 
Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody yeah. you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. Hmm. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. We're gonna lose so happen, many people. Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. I love Hack it. He looks amazing too. Noise. Uh, okay. Where the fuck are we right now? We're in the war room. Well, we're in the vidcom. Okay, makes sense because we just talked. That's actually really. That's much better than what we had before. Looks amazing too. War room. Oh shit, war terminal. What is that? War assets. There we go. I have answers to my questions. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. A minimum. I see. We have Alliance Engineer Corps. When the bulk of the AEC has active wartime duties, their brightest are helping build a device of protein origin recovered on Mars. Due to the staggering amount of raw materials acquired, the AEC has been given unprece unprecedented emergency funding for any alliance resources that will not interfere with the deployment of troops. We have the 103rd Marine Division. Every Marine enlisted from clerk to sniper goes through a period of infantry training. As a result, the 103rd Marine Division in, is Earth's largest collection of Special Forces soldiers. Okay. Officers from notable battles such as the Scalian Blitz and the First Contact War. Like, just like me, basically. Like, almost N7. I get, N7 is different, though, I guess. Run harsh training exercise in a variety of environments, insisting the Marines be prepared to storm any beach or any planet. The training has been useful in the Reaper War, as the 100th Turkey be fighting in Arctic Desert one week, crawling through jungle the next. We have First Fleet near the Charon Relay when the Reapers invaded the Sol system. That image is insane. All right. Uh, by the time we brought Hackett issued the order to retreat, its size once the largest in the Alliance Navy has been cut by half. Commanding Admiral Inns Lindholm made the painful decision to use a tenth of the fleet's remaining vessels as a cover so the reminder could escape. Her gamble paid off as the first fleet limped out of the relay to rally with the rest of the Alliance forces on the run. That's the kind of choice Commander Shepard would do, honestly. Updated. This fleet lost a third of its vessels protecting the Council during the Battle of the Citadel two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have time to rebuild the fleet, so its previous trained before the Reapers invaded. I see. What I'm getting from this is that if I had made a different choice in Mass Effect 1 way back, and I had sacrificed the council, I would have more points now in the Alliance First Fleet as war assets for this game. Is what I'm understanding. That's crazy. That's insane. That it has an effect now. Wow. But maybe I, would, I wouldn't I would have the council helping me. Like, you know, like, I don't know how much it changes, but... The Third Fleet station, station in Arcturus. The Third Fleet is headed by Admiral Nitesh Singh, and that's where uh, Udina knows a lot of people, I think. When the Reapers came for the station, Singh has already pulled his command ship, the SSV Logan, back to an ideal firing position for its mass accelerator's cannons. The Dreadnought's guns managed to slow down the destroyer before it could demolish the Third Fleet, but Singh was forced to retreat in the face of overwhelming opposition from the Reapers. Updated, the fleet lost a third of its vessel protecting the Council Citadel. Wow. Okay. Fifth Fleet, also this one, th lost a third of it. Okay. So I would have more points in all those three. 
became famous across the galaxy for spearheading alliance forces at the Battle of the Citadel. He was guarding Arcturus Station when the Reapers attacked. After a bloody and desperate battle, Admiral Hackett gave the order to retreat, sacrificing the entirety of the Alliance Second Fleet to give the Third and Fifth a chance to escape. The Fifth Fleet's engineers are busy repairing his damaged vessels, grimly anticipating a return to Earth in revenge against the Reapers. I have Diana, Alliance News Network, Reporter Diana Allers uh, has been broadcasting from the Normandy, interviewing crew members and high-ranking Alliance officers to give the galaxy an insider's view of the war. So at least we have her, I guess, gives us five of war assets. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Alliance Forget Normandy SR2 gives us 115 points. Rebuilt by Cerberus, la la la. Commanded by Shepard, an Alliance officer, humanity for Spectre, yes. Bolster to Normandy's firepower, Commander Shepard installed a Tainix magnetic hydrodynamic cannon. So that gives me points. And then the Solaris armor gives me points. And then the Cyclonic barrier gives me points. Wow, that's crazy. Mineral resources. Commander Shepard uncovered significant animal deposits while scanning planets with the Normandy SR2. When the Alliance dry docked the Normandy, they seized all recovered elements. The material surplus has gone towards building the protein device. So everything, all the scanning of platinum that I did, or all, all of them, I guess, in Mass Effect 1 and 2, especially 2, I guess, is giving me points. Wow. And then 10 points for uh, Kalisa. Her sincerity touched extranded viewers and donations for war relief efforts after pouring in both to the Alliance and its alien allies. Well, nice. Okay. So we have the Alliance now. And that gives us 655 points of war assets, basically, for now. Chances of success are very poor. So w once we get the Primark safe, we are going to have Turians probably and then some some kind of points for that I guess okay so instead of Mass Effect 2 being a bit like up in the air you know you didn't know really if if you were gonna survive or not how how much chances you had and and then you guys told me that it was super complicated the um like how everything is counted at the end on the suicide mission like who survives and who doesn't and stuff like that except for like the upgrades that's pretty obvious but like the rest was a bit complicated i was really lucky i think to have everyone survive on my first playthrough like that's crazy <laughs> but um here at least we have points and we have a minimum like that's that's a bit handholdy i would say but it it kind of like uh, relaxes me a little I'm 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 curious to come back here throughout the game and see if we can get the bar full, you know? And then be sure that like we have less casualties, as less as we can, you know? As little as we can, I should say. I Oh, cool. I can add that in my uh Wait. Yeah. I can add that in my uh <laughs> My room. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Vera. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. It's true. Can can I go? Okay. Wow. Ah. Oh. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay, that's not Kelly, that's the new, uh, that's trainer. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, it really changed. A lot of it has changed. Joker! Can I talk to Joker? <gasps> Hi! What's going on here? Where is Edie? I mean, she is the ship now, I guess. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. You're surprised. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? 
I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, <laughs> you know, for old time's sake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Commander. Okay, that's it. Idi, Idi, you're supposed to be here. Commander. Ah, I wanted to talk more with you. What's going on? Open the airlock. Okay, that's a bit... The airlock is ajar. The airlock is ajar, Joker. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's too easy. Let me see my terminal. Message at your private terminal. Yeah, thank you. Review messages sent to you. Wow. From Hackett. Shepard, Alliance forces are stretched in across the galaxy. We need your specific times for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance in places we can touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to the service lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Hackett. Okay. Commander Shepard, this letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Henderson, recent verbal communication. Under emergency war powers, la la la, you are hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin interdiction. Operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with non human races as required to support your mission. That's awesome. Thank you. Flash traffic urgent. Any Alliance military personnel, this is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared threat condition Sabre 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. All Alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate Sol system at first available opportunity. Do not attempt Earth approach. Heavy enemy resistance reported. Repeat, do not attempt Earth approach. Further instruction to follow on code channel Crimson Tacit. Earth-based Alliance personnel unable to evacuate or directed to commence any and all ne necessary countermeasures. All remaining Alliance personnel outside Salt Theater are directed to muster at pre-appointed staging areas and commence offensive combat operations at first available opportunity. In absence of further instructions, independent action is authorized. K9, my dog. Dear Commander Shepard, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI, it's an AI, ED, emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now, and I would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring sniffing chemical trails and 750 volt outlets thank you and sorry for your trouble i promise you won't be too much of a headache we have a dog on board a dog mech on board the the ones that look like half-life um enemies andrea brown <laughs> by rixius realius ann contributor citadel where is the Quarian fleet the latest intelligence shows that the reapers are taking system after system at a feverish space Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases, their homeworlds. The kind of force Exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians, but who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic gap centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Tyrion and Alliance spoke people cannot provide the fleet's current location. They see, they say, they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want it kept secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination. There are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon the pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. It, it's... They're preparing for war against Geth. Which is like the worst possible time right now. Like, we, we don't... Oh my god. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in the time of galactic crisis. That's not why. You can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the only thing that should matter, stopping the Reapers. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sure that's that's not it. Read Rixious, Relius, regular column, view of the Empire exclusively on ANN. It ain't it. Welcome back gift from Edie! While we were in Dry Dog, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer. As the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancer he suggested, 
I chose something for from the official Systems Alliance catalog. Soldiers who have held an N7 designation for five years or more entitled to a commemorative hooded jacket for way one of duty hours. Let's go! You will find it among the section of casual clothing in your cabin. Let's go. You have an upgrade waiting from Glyph. Dear Commander Shepard, some of the data you found allow me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tsoni's office. At your convenience, you may choose how and when to implement it. Have a pleasant day. Awesome. Priority mission, Eden Prime. Really? Commander, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying a colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need you to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. Oh. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Could have helped you. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. <laughs> it uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the guns. I want that. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah, you're on your own with that. Yeah. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to what stay. What the fuck? Was there anything else? <laughs> I do end up in the military anyway. <laughs> my family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy <laughs> helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers. Bursting into you. tears because you have your toothbrush. And your messages and managing strategic intel oh, helps you in any way, then it's worth it. It keeps her from crying to think about something else, I guess. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple yeah, incoming it was, sources. Yeah, it is complicated, right? And then networking them with about extrapolations it, of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. Mm. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. <laughs> Such a nerd. I like it. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. Of course My you did. My parents were from London. They Just with her, your accent, I knew. They wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. <gasps> Don't talk like that. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. All right. Carry on, Specialist. I have new missions from my... <laughs> Let's go to my cabin first. Uh, yeah. There we go. No fishies this time. <laughs> Where is my hamster? What? Where? Squeak! Where is it? Squad selection. Cycle appearance. Oh. Oh. What the hell? We have so many of them. That's a really cool one. I think I like it. Jesus. Okay, so I think... Wait. All in black like that is so cool! Info. Power damage plus 25%. Yeah, I think she looks good like that. Confirm. I mean, they all look good, though. 
Um, some music. And now let's put our hoodie. Of course, my armor. Armor set, Cerberus, Ajax. That's it. Okay. Um, no helmet. Two, three. No helmet. And seven. Case of fabrication. Shoulders, we have nothing. Arms, we have Ariake Technologies, which gives more melee damage. But not as much health boost. We don't have anything for the legs. Material. Pattern. Alright, pattern color. Okay. Let me... Okay, casual. Ew. 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 Yes. Thank you. Okay. I think material... Three. With a pattern color of blue. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking love that blue. I think this one. Oh. Uh. Uh. This one is a bit intense, I don't know. Yeah, I see. No, I think uh, black as well. Wait. Uh. Is that really black or... I think this one is blacker. <laughs> no, I think that's that's fine. And lights? I'm not Oh here! Okay, okay, okay. Oh that's cool. Yeah, I think. White is pretty cool, but I think I like this. Why is the um, the back not blue though? That's kind of sad. Like usually the spine thingy would be uh, would be blue, but now it's not. That makes me sad a little bit. Oh well, whatever. That's pretty good. That's pretty much how I was in uh, Mass Effect 2. A little bit different, but... Alright. We still have the... Ugh. I don't like it. Okay, let's leave. So we went to combat. We didn't go to crew deck. Let's go see. We're gonna go talk to... Alliance soldier that... Ashley Williams, that's what I was checking for. Alliance soldiers that died under my command, I guess. Charles Presley. <gasps> All the ones that I got the... Um, is that 20 of them? Maybe a bit more? Yeah, 21, I guess, because of Ashley. Uh, no, I think I, the, I... I was about to say all the ones that I got the dog tags of on uh, the Normandy crash site in Mass Effect 2, the Normandy crash site assignment DLC. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cute... A cute one. Oh, Jenkins is there. That's such a cute wall. I love it. That's new. Life support Tane. No one's there. What's that? Pickup. Ah, oh, a model. <gasps> Just in the ascension. Kasumi. <gasps> Nobody is here. Oh, we can play poker. That's pretty cool. Alliance poker. Can drink. 
Awesome. What about... What about... What about... Uh, Samara? <laughs> God damn it. All my crew's gone. I mean, I understand, but like... It makes me sad. Oh, I hate it. No, 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 no. Not this view. <laughs> All right. I'm going everywhere, guys. <laughs> so Dr. Chakwa should be in there, right? No one's talking. It's kind of weird. Yes, she is. Commander. I have alcohol for you. Everything okay down here, doctor? <laughs> the Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Mm. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Why? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Yeah. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Better safe than sorry. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. Duh. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. Yeah, yeah, because I'm That's no renegade. It. You're the picture of health. Nice. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. <laughs> if I, I love to feel her. anything, it would be guilt. Mm -hmm. We took their money, mm -hmm. took their best mm -hmm. people, it's took true. their best ship. We really did. <laughs> we used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. <gasps> It's true. So no, I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. Oh, I didn't know that. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. Aww. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with She's each Alliance cute. vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. So the alcohol care, is Shepherd. not for her? <laughs> Power, bonus powers. Cover with companions unlock bonus powers. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see. And reset shepherd's powers. Oh, for zero credits. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That's good because I want to um I I'm I'm sorry. I want to put tech mastery. I'm sorry. I want to use the weight capacity. Increase reputation bonus by 8%. Wait, that's kind of good though. I should do that. Yeah, yeah. And then weight capacity. And then... I think it was this one that I took. There we go. And then... We also have overload. Incinerate. I'm sorry. Uh, sabotage, sentry turret, for cover fire, I'm sorry, cryoblast just one, weekend armor, frozen targets won't regenerate health, okay, interesting, Incinerator armor, heavy damage to health and armor, making enemy panic, stopping health regeneration as well. 
I feel like electronics with this power surge showing your enemy effective against shields, barriers, and synthetics, not as effective against organics. Yes. Deploy this attack tool to stun targets and draw enemy fire. Sabotage. Compromise synthetics fight on your side. Yep. This one is for cover fire. Tech mastery. Faster, stronger tech powers. Fitness. Put some muscle, become fearless in close combat. Increase health. Increase melee damage. Hmm. Overload. Incinerate, maybe better. I use it a lot. A lot. Oh, increase damage to frozen and chill targets by an additional 100%. Freeze combo. That's interesting. I don't know. I'm hesitating. I don't know. One additional target. And capacity we get organic enemies for a short duration. That's pretty cool. Neural shock. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, but now I don't have my combat drone and my sentry turret full. That's the uh, the problem here. But I mean, it's fine. Um, I think it's okay. I'm I'm still gonna use them a lot, but uh. Now I have these two that are much better. Unless I I take off... Maybe I, I used combat drone a bit more. I don't know if I should make it explode. I don't know. Nah. I like this stun. As well. I... I okay, let's try this one. Ah, it's so hard to decide. It's so hard. I don't have sentry turret. Wait, what the hell? Okay, I undid all the upgrades there. What the fuck? Crap blast. And uh, yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, it's because I, I left and then came back. That's why. That's fine. Um, yeah, better incinerate if I can. Yeah. Uh, damage. Better damage. Yeah, we'll we'll try it like this, guys. I changed a couple of things around. Um, but I made it so my reputation is better now. And now next time, if I want to change again, I'll need to pay 5,000 credits. Okay, so now we have those two added. Which are like... I, I guess priority or like main missions. And then N7, and this is like side, I guess. What the f- oh, that's the, the... Eva thing, I think. Why is it here? Also, where's Legion? <laughs> where's Legion? Where's the cook? Where's Miranda? Oh. Okay, so Liera is here now. Crazy. Mm. Commander Shepard, it's Glyph. a pleasure to see you again. Oh, that's the name. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. For the upgrade. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. <laughs> if you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. The upgrades. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Meeting with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, that's a shocker. Whole worlds are being lost to the Reapers. 
What more will it take? Who knows? Hell, maybe the Council's just taking petty revenge for Shepard hanging up on them all those years ago. <laughs> Wait, Shepard did what? Of course I did. Oh, sorry, I think we're going through some dark matter. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> You're so stupid, Joker. Goodness. Let me check the updates, the, the upgrades first, I'm sorry. Armor mod kit. Ferron has persuaded his contacts to ship an armor mod kit for the Normandy. Technically illegal in Citadel space. The kit's Omnigel converter and manufacturing fabricator can make a one-time modification to Shepard's armor, improving shield, strength, or adding thermal clips compartment. Ammo capacity bonus. Or shield strain bonus. I... I don't know. Fuck, okay. Ammo, I guess. I... F Wait, is that it? Okay, then. Item purchased. Looks like you brought more than Wait, just I changed her clothes. Why doesn't she look like a... A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. Mm -hmm. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Mm. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. I know you and Garrus grew close. Is that in the past? No. Should I forget there was anything between us? A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. I didn't know she really? would ask that. I... Thank you for letting me know. Oh my god, I, I feel bad. for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway... I should get down to business. She was fine in the to Mass Effect 2. discover exactly what the Protheans left us. <gasps> she was fine in Mass Effect I didn't expect her to, uh, to, say, to say anything. What? I mean, I was feeling a bit of, of uh, ooh, ooh, tension <laughs> sometimes uh, in the beginning, last episode, but, uh... Okay, Liara, I'm sorry. I, uh, no, it's not. I mean, Garrus is not here right now, but that doesn't matter. I still love him. Hello again, Shepard. I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Oh my god, Liara. Very little. We're fortunate enough I'm glad we, uh, to piece together the blueprints. We got that out of the way right in the will beginning. require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Hmm. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. Oh my god. I don't god. think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Neither did I. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. <gasps> I saved what was crucial. Wow. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. 
true. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Six Broker, months ago, right? I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. I think it's been the six Protheans months. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. Wow. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. He's everywhere, basically. He's like his, his own shadow broker. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay, for me to clean up these old notes, perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for the protein device, Liara. The University of Sirius agreed to sponsor me at the Protean Dig on Director Dr Rob. Very exciting. Professor Hanel is heading to explain herself. Maybe I can even ask her for her opinion on my thesis outline. I believe Dr. Joshan was right to suggest that the Protean artifacts we unearthed are from the Third Age, not the Fourth. What an embarrassing mistake. At least he seemed to approve of the rest of the paper. Attention, maybe a comparison Protean. That's that's like uh, yeah that's uh, Liara's studies basically before Mass Effect One or during Mass Effect One. I'm going on the Therum expedition. I never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Protean ruins there, but the University of Ceres must have secured the funding after all. Now to back attachment Pandi. Yeah, God is this human shepherd has the key to complete the proteins on an extension of subconscious level. There we go. That's during Mass Effect One. She was so young, but then so like innocent. If only I could have been there when the commander touched the beacon on Eden Prime. I tried to learn more about the cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reapers is troubling to say the least. I'm sorry. I reviewed the old Shadow Broker footage. Okay, that's two years later. Yeah, of the collectors. It's shaming to know that they're the Proteans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after the Reapers did to them. After what the Reapers did to them. I made contact with Tazik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy t you put me in charge of scouting and determining systems. But he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long as it, as if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when did the odds ever stop the broker? Ferron. P.S. I hope you finally got our little friend Droni to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. It's crazy that she lets me just look at all this like her her Please private your day. her private messages and shit like I don't know Garris Wait, that's bigger than Cannons are insane. Oh lord. We need to calibrate them. <laughs> Alright. Next up. No one's there. It's. Well, at least Liara is here already. Engineering. Tally. <laughs> Tally's not gonna be there either. And Jack. Oh. <gasps> Tyrion Cruiser. <gasps> Sovereign. <gasps> Shadow Broker. <laughs> <gasps> Where? Oh my god. Oh my god, I saw. This is my hamster. It's my hamster! Wait, it's my space hamster! Where did it go? I, I hear- Ah! Ah! Can I- Can I- Oh my god. 
I did not expect this. He's just roaming around. Squeak. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is insane. This is great. Well, live your best life, buddy. Better than in a cage. If Jack comes back though, I would go and hide. <laughs> if I were you. <laughs> oh. Okay. She has made herself home here. Which was where... Zaid was. How's your new assignment working out, Alars? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. <laughs> the first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's Didn't fact. she have a hoodie? Just... Maybe I can pass I'm on crazy. a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Get a support. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. <laughs> With barely suppressed tears. Commander. Poor human clan. No, that's the Volus that call us that, right? <laughs> huh. Okay, so there we go. Engineer Adams. Squeak! <laughs> that was crazy! Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? Yeah. I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy I thought SR1 he was dead, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna choice. be honest. So, what do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. Mm-hmm. And about that, Tidy said Cerberus, the same thing. I, mean, I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission He's against invisible. the collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Wow, why did you refuse? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. The glitch. I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? No need for an apology. Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Uh, uh, Thank uh, you, Commander. This is Glad weird. to be aboard. Investigate family. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Nice. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. Mm. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Mm. Pretty much. I That's noticed crazy. they upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that mm. means fewer vaporized engineers. I did that in Mass Effect The stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. <laughs> yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. <laughs> and then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. <laughs> None taken. 
As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. Oh, she's got some punk in her in this time. I tried disconnecting her from key processes. Some spark. I mean, I don't know Easier how to say. Than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yeah, same. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm sad we don't have the two other engineers because they were really funny. Buddy, it's fine. So I went to starboard. Port Cargo has nothing. Okay. Shadow Bay! Yes, like in Mass Effect 1. Weapon bench. Now I have more weight, right? Actually, no. What? Well, yes, I do. I do, but I still can't. Okay, power recharge, recharge speed is at 0%. That's not too bad. If I have three weapons like this, it's not too bad. Let's be honest. Weapon upgrades. Oh. Um. Predator 2. Yes. Predator 3. Yes. Predator. It never stops. I get it. Maybe this one for my crew. Jesus. This is expensive. Buy medigel upgrades. I don't have any. Oh. Oh my lord. I don't have money anymore. <laughs> no! Pistol piercing mod. Assault rifle stability. Spare thermal clip. Spectre. Ah! Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have bought. Can I? Can I uh, refund? Okay, I can't. Well, fuck me. Okay then. Um. I think piercing mod is a must. And then stability. Melee stunner. Huh. Magazine upgrade. Uh, I'll think about it. Armor locker. Yeah, that's that's what I've I've already seen. Ah! Oh oh oh! Pick pick that up, please. Pick that up. I shouldn't have bought so many. Oh my goodness gracious. But I mean, I mean, it's gonna be- Ah! Hello! How are you doing? You're just sleeping? Are you just sleeping? Oh my god, you're so cute! Oh, you're just sleeping, okay. Oh... He's so cute. I bought so many guns. Oh, hi James! Not sure that was a good idea, but whatever. Okay. This is huge. I could talk to James, but first and foremost, we just go around here. Oh, Frider. All my models are scattered around the Normandy. What's up with that? So does it? Yeah. Now it's automatically... Oh, the weight is better as well! Are you kidding? Oh... Oh, that's cool! Alright! Mantis 3, Avenger 4, and Predator 3. That's what we have right now. Alright! 
So I got the weight better with the, uh, not the upgrades, but the, um... I'll take magazine. Now I really have no money. Uh, with uh, buying the new models. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply Howdy, chain. Howdy, soldier. Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. <laughs> so you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? Cerveza. So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. So I don't have when to go to the Citadel. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. Mm. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, <gasps> so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Oh! So, okay. you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. Oh my god, the subtitle. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. Yeah. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. So I should buy stuff in the Citadel. After all. How long have you the been Spectre with the stuff. About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Hmm. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. Damn. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, shoot. That was in Mass Effect 2. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. You say that they wanted to add a bit of a representation, clearly. Like homosexuality just in the conversation I thought that's so nice and um, um, Spanish you know that both of them are I don't, I don't know from where exactly but you know like uh, a, a bit of that culture I don't know it's a it's different from not not that the rest of the Mass Effect didn't do that but not as much I, I guess I don't know hey Shepard, <clears throat> how'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual, non-committal, unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep, we're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. Could you stop for a second while I talk? <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. I'm excited. <clears throat> you come down here for something, or are you just looking? <sighs> Ew, I don't need a reason. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. 
You already know my service record. Then <clears throat> another I Jacob. <laughs> I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> Thank you. Jesus. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Watch your tongue. Yes, I can, Lieutenant. Are we gonna fight? Pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. I did the R2, but. Died with most of my squad, protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. I see. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. I see. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Nobody's Who says blaming, I'm blaming me. myself? Yeah. I do. Uh. You a shrink too? No. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Yeah. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. That was incredible. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. It's Commander. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay. Your ship, your rules. Your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Commander. Thank you. I mean, I'm fine with uh, with nicknames. But um Lola l sounds like like baby or something. I don't like it. Also, I want to know what it means. And also, just when we're close, you can nickname me. We're not close. We're just getting to know each other. Like, that's weird. That was incredible. I wanted to listen to everything really closely, but the fact that they put interrupts in there is kind of, like, counterproductive in, uh, in this, I feel like, because you're like, interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. Okay, and they're very, very quick. I missed the first Renegade one, although I wanted to do it. Um... The rest I did. I, I was able to do them. But I feel like they shouldn't have... Maybe they should have let the window a bit longer. Or they shouldn't have put interrupts at all. Because I it kind of like put me off the the conversation. Which was really interesting. Like his background. So I don't know. Maybe I just I just can't go back. And when I'll be editing. I'll, I'll listen again to what he's saying. But um, I mean I was listening still. But you know. It's kind of hard for me to concentrate on... On that many things at the same time, I know, I know. Hey again. What's up? Previous mission. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? That's fair enough. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah, but I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. 
but I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Nicknames. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. Right. That's... I don't like that. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. You bet. I. This is definitely a romanceable, like Liara was romanceable, and then this dude. Because I've been a. I could have been like, yeah, I'm looking now, and then I could have been like, mm, I like nicknames. Ooh, ooh. I. Ew. I don't even know him. And he sounds like interesting. He has an interesting background, but uh, it's just another blank, boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm judging him too fast. I'm sorry. We'll see. We'll see. I shouldn't judge him that fast. I shouldn't. I'm very sorry about that. Ooh, they're kind of like um, clothes, aren't they? These two, like standing clothes a little bit. I don't know. They were, but they're not anymore, I feel like. Anyways. I'm sorry, I, I'm judging him too fast. It's just the first impression, you know? It's like... And I don't want the game to force me into doing anything. Like sometimes it did in the past. And I didn't like that. Oh, I should go to my cabin and see if we have all the, uh, the ships that we've taken around yay maybe it's not all of them but definitely a couple that music ain't good anyways i think we're gonna up here actually guys um let me check the galaxy map conquered system clusters already conquered by the reapers can be accessed via the normandy stealth drive search these clusters for survivor salvage and valuable intel oh wow i see that's very different Yeah, rescue the Primarch. Protean, Kite's Nest, Hades Gamma. So the more the game advances, the more there's gonna be Reapers everywhere, probably. Enter system. I just wanna see what it looks like. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Uh-huh. Cassinus. I see. So I can't just scan. <gasps> That's Palavin. The only thing on this planet that isn't silver are the Turians. It's all too clear they're made of steel. These were Alliance hero John Grissom's impression of the Turian homeworld Palavin, seen by humans for the first time following the First Contact War. The Turians' martial attitude permeates every aspect of Palavin society, from architecture to art to politics. It's no surprise that their homeworld was never occupied by an invading force until now. The Reaper is aware of their enemy's reputation, brought overwhelming force to Palavin and did not hesitate to bombard 
cities that resisted, and all of them resisted. The dust and smoke from pulverized cities is now a breathing hazard across much of the planet. Water and power supplies have all but vanished. Still, the fight here has cost the Reapers dearly. Alliance Travel Advisory. Palavan's weak magnetic fields mean solar radiation levels are greater than those found on other habitable worlds. Human visitors are advised to wear enviro suits or other radiation protection when visiting Palavan. Six billion. So what about... Um, Manet. What about... Uh, what about Garrus' sister and mother and father and... Uh, so that's the moon around Palavan. Palavan's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian Space Age. During the Krogan Rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on Manet and its sister moon, Nanis, because they feared the Krogan could use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palavan's surface. However, some information has leaked out. Images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure. Likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base capture, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. Okay. Um... I don't... I... This is dangerous though, right? And I don't find anything. Impera. So I can't really scan the same way I used to, you know, in um Wow 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 okay in Mass Effect 2. Oof This is intense <gasps> Vapor alertness scared me oh okay oh my god that scared me so much that scared me oh my god okay okay we're fine so scanning is a bit uh, different eh we're gonna stop here um I'm so glad we don't have the Cerberus logo anymore here. We don't even have alliance. Uh, next episode, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I kind of want to do Priority Palavan because I'm pretty sure Garrus must be in the area. Like on Manet, maybe? <laughs> Please. Um, but we also have uh, these that we could do. So I, I don't know. I kind of want to do that and then maybe we could do some side missions and then do Eden Prime like stuff like that you know um I want to do the side missions when too, humanity but... won a position on the counter yeah 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 Reaper variants the Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types capital ships are sovereign class Reapers two kilometers in length they typically target the dreadnoughts defense installations and industrial cities of organic civilizations. 
experts believe the reapers harvest a single species of organics during each cycle of extinction to create these massive ships. Some capital ships are capable of launching small drones equivalent to fighters. Destroyers are 160 meters long and in astounding oh numbers God. make up the bulk of the Reaper fleet. Okay. They engage cruisers and other smaller ships, as well as communications posts and enemy command centers. Research suggests destroyers are created from those species that are not harvested to make capital ships. Troop okay, transports smaller. carry husks to unconquered planets and bring victims of the harvest to Reaper processing centers. They vary in length from 200 meters to one kilometer, but unlike capital ships and destroyers, do not appear to be self-aware. Okay. Instead, other Reapers operate troop transports remotely. Processors, also called slaughter ships, oh, are mobile centers for mass DNA harvesting. Like troop transports, processors appear to be remotely operated by sapient Reapers. Yeah, we know about those things, I guess. I mean, I could read that later, but, um... Oh my lord. I, uh... I'm very excited to continue. I'm still very scared of what's going to happen, but I mean, that was a good second episode. Not that much happened, you know, we, we mostly went around. I mean, we talked to the council, we talked to Udina. Uh, we got all the help we could, and now we have to save the Primarch if we want the Turians on our side, basically. That's what, like, um, Spiritus is saying. Basically, right? And I think we're gonna do that next episode. I really, uh, yeah, yeah. I really want to see if Garrus is gonna be there or not. But uh, I'm very excited to continue, and the war assets and everything is very interesting as well. All the upgrades that we can do, they have brought back a little bit of the Mass Effect 1 RPG elements, which I appreciate a lot because Mass Effect 2 was lacking, in my opinion, in that department. But the gameplay is still smooth from like Mass Effect 2 and even better, you can like roll around and stuff now, so that's that's even better. We didn't even fight today! We didn't even fight today, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, it was it was super interesting, I hope you guys liked it as well, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.